Hey everybody, this is Brandon again. Today uh, I want to talk about some of the reasons why I'm getting ready to wipe Chrome OS Flex off of this B-Link Sur 5. I've been using this as my main workstation for I think since March maybe and with Chrome OS Flex on it and um, it's actually worked for me pretty good. I've been using it for months but I think I'm ready to go back to Linux. I'm I'm going to put a Fedora on this thing probably tomorrow and go back to that as my daily driver. And it's not that Chrome OS Flex is bad, but um, I'm going to tell you why. I, I'm kind of done using it as my daily system. Uh, and mainly the reason is it's just the polish isn't there on it. You know, I've never needed the Android app, so that hasn't been a big deal to me. I do use web apps a lot. And I use some of the Linux apps. And of course, Linux apps work better on Linux. But unfortunately, web apps also work better on Linux, just installing them as a PUA using Google Chrome. Uh, there's still some features on PWAs that work on Windows, on Linux, on Mac that kind of work on Chrome OS, but not really. One of the big ones is file type associations. They're They've been bugged on Chrome OS for a long time. I've submitted specific bug reports on their Chromium reporting website with little to no response or feedback from Google. Uh, there's been other bugs too, uh, Chrome OS related, that I've submitted bug reports on with almost no feedback or acknowledgement from Google. It makes you wonder if they're even checking these things anymore. Um, also, the file manager, I've talked about problems with the file manager on this channel for years since I've been testing out Chrome OS. They've never really improved it. They changed the look of it a little bit to make it look a little prettier, which is all right. But um, features wise, I really haven't done anything positive to it. Uh, there's just basic things like file name conflict resolution that they don't have working. I can't click on a folder and open it in a new window. Basic stuff like that, that they've just never gotten to. And to me, it's not clear that they're ever going to get to it. And they've also, over the last few updates, as opposed to adding new features to this thing, they've kind of removed some features. Like it used to have a little bit of integration with my Android. I could get the Android notifications on Chrome OS Flex. They took that away. They took the nearby share away. So I don't know what their plan is, what they're doing. Um, you saw my video probably a month or so ago where I talked about how they're talking about merging Chrome OS and Android. And maybe they're just, going towards sunsetting Chrome OS. I hope not. I like it. I like the look of it. But, um, I mean, here's the thing. that I like the simplicity and the basicness of it, but I can also replicate that on Linux and have a more functional system. I get, when I'm working, random crashes on Chrome OS. Sometimes a Linux app will just crash, like cold shut down. Uh, but other times the entire system just crashes and restarts. So I don't know. I do like Chrome OS. I like Chrome OS Flex. I have a Chromebook Plus over there that I use when I go places. And I have still have that little Asus laptop that I'll keep Flex on so I can keep checking what's new in the updates. And I'll report on those if there's anything good. And maybe if they make some good drastic changes, I'll go back to using it as my daily driver. But for me, I just like to get work done. And I don't know. It, the frustrating thing about Chrome OS Flex is it has so much potential. They're like 85% of the way there to having something that I think could make it the default. Like It could be better than Windows. It could be better than most Linux distributions for most people. But for whatever reason, they refuse to uh, go that last 15% of the way. But that's fine. I'll keep uh, watching it. I hope they improve because I really like this system. And if they do, I'll let you guys know about it. And if they don't, that's fine. Uh, but that's my thoughts. You guys can tell me what you think. Um, yeah, I'm going to be going back to Fedora as my main driver. I'll keep checking in on Chrome OS on those other devices, but it's just not at the point to where I like using it every day. But that's my thoughts. You guys can let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and um, have a good day. Bye now.